In this new month, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Amen. In the name of Jesus. For those that have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I appreciate you so much and I'm praying along with you and by the mercy of God, you will testify in this new month in Jesus' mighty name. For those that have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, click the subscribe button there or click the link down there to take you to where you can subscribe and I'll be praying along with you and you shall also, also testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. The book of Joel chapter 2 verse 19 says, And the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine, and oil, and you shall be satisfied, and I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. I speak to your life right now as you're listening to me. In this new month, may the Lord supply all your needs according to his riches in glory, in the name of Jesus. May you be satisfied, in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed and be a blessing unto others, in the name of Jesus. And you will no longer be a reproach in your family, at your job, and among your friends, in the name of Jesus. Verse 25 of the same chapter says, I will restore unto you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. In this new month, in the name of Jesus, any good thing you have lost, any good thing you have been denied, may the Lord restore them back unto you in this new month, in the name of Jesus. Any good doors of opportunities that you have been denied by the mercy of God, may the Lord open them unto you in this new month in the name of Jesus. Maybe it's your health that has denied you of great things you're supposed to have done. I prophesize upon you right now. In this new month, get up from that sick bed and begin to do exceedingly and abundantly to the glory of God the Father in the name of Jesus. The next verse says, you shall eat plenty and be satisfied and you shall praise the name of the Lord our God that has dealt with you wondrously and you shall no longer be ashamed. In this new month, you will no longer be ashamed in the name of Jesus. You will also eat plenty and be satisfied. And may the Lord give you reasons to praise his name. All true in this new month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 says, Unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called the Wonderful, the Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. You see, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Even United Nations, no matter how much roundtable meeting they are having, they can never find peace to the issues of this world. Because peace is a person. And until that person is brought to the roundtable, there can never be peace. And that person is the Prince of Peace himself. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Maybe as you're listening to me right now, you have not handed over the affairs of your life unto our Lord Jesus Christ. You have not handed it over upon his shoulder. Or maybe you want to rededicate your life unto Christ. I'm going to pray shortly with you right now. If you are willing, please say this prayer along with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity. I am a sinner. I come to you right now. I believe you are the Son of God. You died and God raised you up the third day and you now live forevermore. Come into my life as my Lord and my Savior and take over my life now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I congratulate you if you say that short prayer with me. Please look for a Bible teaching church so that I can learn about the Prince of Peace and begin to grow in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. For those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe click the subscribe button right there or click the link below there. It will take you to where you can subscribe and receive your blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.